Art Basel, Miami. What do you think of Art Basel? I think Art Basel is probably the best week in the year. It uh, brings an amazing, eclectic group of people together, celebrating art, and uh, I think it's, it's phenomenal. Here we are with one of my favorite artists who's now hugely successful and a great sensation here at Art Basel in Miami, Florida. And I know it wasn't always this way, and if you could tell me a little bit of how you started and how it all happened. I, I never planned to be an artist. It's just something I wanted to do as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I just found myself in a job that, you know, I didn't love, and I was kind of, you know, hoping for Friday to come. And, Anxiety on Sunday when I had to go to work on Monday, just kind of like a lot of people. And I just wanted to find something to look forward to that I love to do every day. So I started doing artwork for fun. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of exploded. A, you know, a friend of mine took the artwork and he hung it in his restaurant and he said, you know, do you mind if I sell it? And I said, I don't know if I, I don't think people would pay more than it cost me to make. Right. So I didn't want to sell it. And he says, oh, don't, I'll, I'll take care of it. But then he ended up selling it four days later for, you know, amount of money that was, you know, worth me quitting my job and kind of validated my dreams and, and I quit my job the next day and it just kind of blew up from there. I heard the first painting sold for 14000 It did, it did, it was like, know, but it wasn't, well. so much, it wasn't so much about the money, it was more about the, the fact that I probably could quit my job at that point, you know, and, and do it as a career. And I heard that, I, I don't know if the story is true, but that you, you were homeless at one point and now you're this huge success. Is that, is that true? Uh, yeah, I was homeless for five years, but you know, I wouldn't change any of that because a lot of the reason I make my artwork look the way it looks and the stories kind of developed with my stories from being homeless and you know, the influences I had during that period. And, and I always thought when I was homeless that you know, people would look at you and judge you. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if the story of your life could be tattooed on your skin and people would just know your story? So I started making my characters look like that. Each piece is sort of like a kaleidoscope. It's not just the image that you see from a, from a distance, but when you, when you get a closer perspective, there's, uh, there's all kinds of interesting um, uh, sort of sub-pieces within Daniel's work. So it's, it's, uh, it's very thought-provoking and very impressive. Who would you say that you've met that um, left the biggest impression or inspired you in some way? I mean, I think the most exciting person I ever met was the Pope. I heard that. That's incredible. That was cool. Um, yeah, Tell I mean, me a that, little bit about how that happened, meeting the Pope. I donate a lot for children's charities, and um, mm -hmm. one of them happened to be a charity that the Pope runs. Mm -hmm. And then I got a letter, an email, saying that, you know, uh, His Holiness would like to invite you to the Vatican, and I thought it was a joke. I really literally wrote back, LOL, nice joke. And they wrote back, <laughs> no, no, it's real, it's because you donated, and blah, blah, blah. So I ended up going, and, and it was you know, just obviously an experience that you know, not many people get to do, and something I'll never forget. I, I have a certain, certain charities that I deal with every year, mm -hmm. but all of them are always about kids. Because you know, a lot of these kids start off without a chance, and I think it's nice to help them. Yeah. I needed help at one point too, so it's nice mm -hmm. to be able to give back. Well, thank you thank so you. much for being here thank in you. Miami, part of our Basel and making it all a huge success for us and for being such a sensational artist. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I love these pieces. I think they're beautiful, colorful, playful. I think they're masterfully done. I'm a big fan. Art Basel Miami going strong. Check out this line behind me. And that's just one of today's events.